Do you think you're talking about thinking of uh, sports when you're in bed and stuff? Do you think Josh Allen is thinking of Brandon Ayuk when he's going to sleep tonight? If I'm John Lynch, I do not pick up. What's the area code at Buffalo? Because I would not pick up any phone calls from that uh, area. Code. The Rochester guys. I I do a lot of hits with them. Oh darn it! I got it in my phone somewhere. Seven one six. The seven one six. I would not pick up a phone call from the seven one six if I'm John Lynch of the Forty ers do yeah. not move Fred and Ayuk. That's not how I operate. Like in in sports, outside of Steph Curry, everyone I listen to the offer. I, you, you can listen to it. Doesn't mean you have to take it. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, if they I, go like seven first rounders, you're, you're taking it. I'm kind of with. I'm kind of. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of being hyperbolic here, but I'm not just. I'm just not into trading Brandon and Ayuk. I'm just not into that. I don't. I don't rock with that movement. I, I just don't. I, I don't know why you give up a guy. Or you would think about giving up a guy who is second in the league in yards per catch, 36 in the league in targets, yet he was seventh in the league in receiving yards. And he's getting better and better by the season. He's getting better and better by the game. I'm not doing that. If Kyle Shanahan, like, if, if Kyle Shanahan is getting paid, let's say, $20 million a year, and it's about, there's a lot of guesstimates on these, on these coaches' salaries. Don't we believe that? He could find offensive talent. I'm not saying he could find the exact same player as Brandon Ayuk, but aren't you more inclined if you are going to move off of people, you can move off of people on the offensive side of the ball because he can offset that with his with his well, eye for offense and being able to scheme things up? Well, we've seen seven years of his offensive scheme, and we've seen that he doesn't have premium players. The offense looks stagnant. But didn't he find Brandon, I, Brandon Ayuk? Yeah, it was a first-round pick. I, I'm just, but I'm, how many I'm just, other guys have he drafted in as, I mean, but none as high as I. I mean, he's he's taking Debo, Ayuk, and they've popped, and George yes. Kittle's popped. Yes. But they had to make a trade for CMC. Yes. How many running backs have failed in the oh, system? A lot. How many wide receivers have failed in the system? Yeah, but those were all middle middle round picks. Dante that, Pettis was a second round pick. Yeah. Jalen Hurt was a third Pettis round still pick. Around. You know, I mean, what does that mean? I mean, he beat the Niners. <laughs> I mean, you know, so he had he had the one catch that all year. It was a revenge game. They didn't want you know Niners didn't want him. So I I don't know. I, I need I need I, more wide receivers. I'm and not I don't even know if sold I trust Shanahan and getting these. Huh? I'm not even sold on what I'm saying. But what, what I'm just it? I'm playing the argument. Well, because I'm oh, yeah. playing the argument out. Like we don't need to argue well, all the time. No, but like when I when I when I think of offense, part of having an offensive minded head coach is I don't necessarily I don't necessarily have to have the greatest talent in the world, and that guy's going to be able to scheme it up. I look at like Belichick. Part of what made Belichick so amazing is that. He could find these random linebackers, Van Nuys and stuff, and 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 make it work. You know, he he coached dudes up. He, he just found a way to coach guys up. And when I look at the offensive side, like McVay clearly can find wide receivers late, right? He found he found yeah, Cooper he Cup late. late. I don't he know if Shedd can. Late. I don't know if Shedd. And this is a good point for Mikey Dubs. Excuse the mobile text line. Their boy Mikey Dubs. Possibly, I think he's a top five run blocking wide receiver. Know how hard it is to get the wide receiver to block consistently? Even Debo Samuel, they kind of they, they hinted at it. it's like, yo, Debo. Sometimes when he knows he's not getting the ball, he's not going full speed. Well, you never see that out of Ayuk. He's mauling dudes on the edge. We see how many scraps he got into it. Uh, got into it in the Super Bowl with Kansas City. He is a physical. The first big run of the season with Chris McCaffrey, he opened the third quarter against Pittsburgh. Who is downfield blocking? Who was downfield blocking? No one's. Did, I mean, like, no one's think about him. what, what game was blocker. that? Was that Seattle when McCaffrey had the big run? But, but Juwan and McCaffrey Jennings got is up. A great blocker. Yeah, but now you got two. No, I'm just saying, but like Jawan, like, but well, is he the wide receiver better than I guess? No, no. So that's what I'm saying. No. He's the complete package. Just don't give up a top ten wide receiver, top fifteen wide receiver for like. I, I'm just not with that. I'm not with it. The, the big run against Seattle, Christian McCaffrey at Levi Stadium when they swept the Seahawks. McCaffrey got up. Who did he look at? Put it in Brandon Ayuk. You said that's all you. W would trading Brandon Ayuk be a bigger risk than trading DeForest Buckner? Huh? Would trading Brandon Ayuk be a bigger swing and, and a risk than trading DeForest Buckner? Like, who was the better overall player at the time that they were moved? If if they do hypothetically move Brandon Ayuk, it's hard to quantify. Two differently, two different positions. Um, but. DeForest Buckner was harder because of the staple that he was in the community. So a lot of people had love for him because we saw him. But and and some a lot of people think, oh, we could just go find another wide receiver. Well, we saw, you know, or when it came to Buckner, oh, you could just go replace him with another D tackle. How valuable he, he can't play at a wide nine. Well, I, I disagree with that. 
That was a hard that was a hard pill to swallow, and the Niners are still looking for his replacement. They're still trying to catch up to making that trade. Now they lost both guys. Arvshed and Buckner's gone. Kinlaw's gone too, the guy you replaced Buckner with. I don't even want to go down that road and trying to replace Brandon Ayuk. Because now it's going to, like, who, are you getting a, uh, a proven wide receiver? Is it a draft pick? I know wide receivers are making the adjustment quicker to the NFL because, as we mentioned the other day, the college concepts are now implemented to the NFL game. You're seeing the game being more wide open like the college game. So maybe a rookie wide receiver, rookie wide receiver can come in and be dynamic right away. Maybe you can't find a Justin Jefferson. I don't know. I just, I, I just have a hard time trading a guy like Brandon now with what he does in this offense and the rock running, the catch radius, the physicality he plays with. He's a big time player, man. I, I feel like if they're gonna, I don't think they're gonna. I mean, I, I could be, I could be so off on this, but if they're gonna make a move, they're gonna do it prior to the draft because I don't see them uh, taking a draft pick for next year's draft because of where they are right now and the finances and everything and the win now, they're going to want, if they're going to make this move, they're going to want to be able to execute a draft pick yeah. to have on the roster for this upcoming season. So I feel like if we can get past the draft, Ayuk is staying.